welcome to the effects breakdown of the book trailer. Now, I've got my storyboard, and I've got Paul Elliott here who's going to help me with the breakdown. Hello, Ben. Hello, Paul. Here's a car with two occupants in it going through space from left to right. That's the shot we're, we're looking for. Now, the space shot, that'll be a single, that'll be a background which mm -hmm. we can make. If we're lazy about it, we would just use a still image, but if we want to be more ambitious, we can um, make the stars move as they go. Yeah, so we could have like stars on, on a few layers, uh, planets, although there's only a few planets in mm -hmm. our solar system, but yeah, so, so kind of moving around like Very that. Very nice. This shot here is, is the shot we're going to need, and we're going to have to be able to see right through the window to the stars in the background on the mm -hmm. other side. So the shot we actually have to film is pretty much this, which is just the window. We'll use my car for that. Mm -hmm. And we'll somehow get blue uh, or green, could be any solid color, uh, yeah. as long as it's a good contrast to the people inside the car. So we'll just shoot this window of the car with the blue, and then, so and then, yeah, literally cut that out. Yeah, as a cut, mask. Yeah, cut that with out the mask. Key out the blue. So we've just got two people's heads in a car window shape with a with a little bit of a steering wheel there. Then we'll plonk that here on our um, CGI model. Either it could be a physical model of a car, couldn't it? Yeah, I mean we could make a model. In some ways, that if we make a model, that would be a good basis. Even if we proceed to a CGI car, we can mm. use that to to um, take photographs of and then actually render that in a in a right. 3D modeling program. Ah. To me, that's the one thing that perhaps we need to experiment with is mm. is creating a, a car that's going to look really fancy. Yeah, and it's from the future. So right, and if that fails, we'll we'll go for sort of like a, a, a cute low low fi obviously model car yes but with actual actual little people yeah yeah it. and then the background be about that there and that's our shot so we've got the star field we've got the car and we've got the the keyed out window So here's the footage in After Effects of Paul sitting there in the car with the blue sheet draped over the window. First what we're going to want to do is to cut out just the bit of the shot that we want, which is basically this window with Paul in it. So I'm going to click on the footage, uh, I'm going to hit the uh, pen tool over here, or you can press E, and the cursor becomes this pen. And you just click points to create what's called a mask. And I'm not doing it particularly uh, finely, but it'll do. So there's our mask, and that automatically cuts that out. Then we take a picture of a car. You can use a video of a car. In this case, I'm just using a, uh, a picture which I uh, cut out on Photoshop. We want to clear this window here in the car, so I'm going to make a mask there. So with the pen again, click around the car window. There it is. Now, as you can see, we've we've been left with just the window, which we don't want. So here where it says mask, I'll click inverted, and that's the car without the bit that I clicked around. So with this, and with this, I'm going to put the car behind Paul here, and then I'm going to click V to get my selection tool back, and I should be able to just, here we go, 
hold down shift to keep the uh, proportions correct and I'm making my video here the right size for the car Let's see that should just about do it now it looks a bit neater if he's actually behind the car so I'm going to move this layer down to under the car there he is he's behind the car now we're getting somewhere oops and a little bit of the picture is sticking up there so let's just move that you can grab on one particular part of the mask and just move it down there it goes now I've got Paul in the car I've got to get rid of this blue screen so I'm just going to use the very very basic keying tool here of color key there's all sorts of keying tools I'm not going to go into the intricacies of, of them I'm going to select my key color with this dropper here and click on the blue there we go it's starting to key out already let's increase the color tolerance to get rid of a bit more of that blue got to be careful with the tolerance because if you go too far you're going to start losing bits of the picture that you want so uh, okay there's 41 there's um, still a bit of a blue border around here so I'm going to click the edge thin here which gets rid of expands the mask a little bit the key so now I've got Paul in the car with the blue screen keyed out which gives us a uh, nice video it looks like Paul is actually sitting in an E-type rather than my uh, 12 year old Prius now we need some stars behind him in this case I've got one called CC Particle World which has got a, a ton of variables you can change the uh, movement of the stars you can change the size of the stars you see if we put the star field under behind all of that bingo and the stars should show through behind Paul yes there they are we have ourselves a full star field car person sitting in the in space now here's an extra thing if you want to move the car around and you want to move everything including the uh, the video of the person sitting in the car you should pre-compose the picture so you select the layers that you want to group together here and here these two now right click on that click on pre-compose okay that and here is what's called our pre-composition which is basically just pull in the car then we go back to our composition you'll see that those layers are now been lumped into something called pre-comp 2 and the good thing about that is that you can then just move the whole thing around with Paul in the car without having to worry about bits of the video being left behind so we can now apply stuff like movement to that whole pre-composition give it a keyframe there and another keyframe here let's just move along a bit and so when we see it all together we've got him moving and the stars behind and it's all coming along very nicely